Hey Shopify users, in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can add more sections to your themes product page if you are using any of the older themes like debut theme. So what I mean by older themes is beginning of 2021 Shopify introduced online store 2.0 and with that they introduced some changes a new set of themes and debut theme is one of the older theme so with these changes you get more benefits in terms of customization these themes are also much faster so and and in future there's going to be more and more benefits from these themes and even with the current changes there's a lot more to it so um, I will leave a link for this article and you can read more about it and in this video let's get on with adding more sections to the product page and to show you the difference I have here dawn theme and then I have here debut theme and you can see I am on the product page debut theme doesn't have much here if I go to dawn theme you can see a lot more going on here plus you can all add a lot of sections here that were not available in the older theme so how do we achieve this so Shopify has made it possible that you, you you don't have to upgrade everything you can one by one update the page templates so how you do that is if we go into the code for each theme right now I'm here in the Dawn theme you can see within templates you see .json files up here and then if I go to the old debut theme the same thing in templates you're seeing dot liquid extension so this is the major difference what needs to be done is we need to change this product dot liquid template here to a product dot json template just like in this dom theme right here so let's get into it so first thing you would want to do is create a backup of the theme that you are going to be working on. So I am going to be updating the debut theme that is not my active theme right now. So what I'm going to do is just duplicate this theme. Duplicate. And then I can just rename it to something that I can remember. Debut product page chain upgrade. So now I can work on this theme here to make the changes and so we go in here and go to edit code. So once you are in the code for this copied theme what you can do is go to the product.liquid template in the templates folder and right where you see this section product template and product recommendations down below from this div just copy all the way down till the end
and then go to sections folder and look for this product template and it should be around this one product template and then in here look for the schema uh, you can search for schema quickly or just scroll down around here this is where the schema starts and then you have this and unless so around right before the schema starts just paste that code that you just copied click save and now go back to where the product dot liquid template is and click on that and then we are going to delete this file so make sure you have selected the right file product at liquid it's selected click delete file up here and now we are going to create a new file add new template here it gives you the options JSON or liquid the new templates are JSON templates so you will keep that selected create a new template for product and then create template and in here it gives you these sections right here so um, instead of typing in here some values I am going to just copy paste some code in here so this is the code I pasted in here and what you are going to do next is just save and now you can see what we did here is we are specifying a main section and the type is product template which refers to that product template file right down here that we already pasted some code in now if we go and look at our product page and if you look on the left hand side we are in that debut copied theme and then you can see down here we have those sections and then we have this here if you go add section it opens up a whole drop down you can add more sections to your product page now so this is great but there is one more thing we still need to do if you remember in the old template there was also a section called product recommendations so we still need to make sure that we have that section added to product page so how you would do that is go back in the code for the new template you created so in here product.json here so what you would do is these are the sections so one section is main we are going to add another section so what we can do is right after you click on this bracket here it tells you kind of where this is closing right after here add a comma in quotes double quotes recommendations and then you do the same two brackets like this and within that That's it. So this is recommendation section you added corresponds to product recommendations, which is this section here. And then in here, this is the order. 
you can specify in which order you want those sections to appear on the page so I want recommendations after the main so do that in there and save now let's go back to our page now because there's no recommendations on the page we probably we're not going to see much but you can see we have this product recommendation section added here and we still have the ability to add more sections so right now your page has everything that the old template has and also the ability to add more sections so I could go in here and add say image with text and you can see right away right side it opens up all the options and right here if I go and add some image save you can see how that section got added down here so same way you can add any section you like from here now so one more thing I wanted to show you was if you go back to the product.json template we created you will see that some of the settings have been changed and this is as you continue to add more sections on the page it's going to keep updating this file and if you look here show quantity selector false and go back to the product page and click inside this product pages you will see on the right side show quantity selector is unchecked so you click that it will show up right here save and now if we go back in here right now it is false but if you close this file and then open it again you can see it's turned to true so this file from now on it's it will continue to change for you based on what options you're selecting so same way you can keep upgrading all your other templates and have the ability to add more sections to other pages also if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel thank you and i will see you in the next video